Lily of the Valley has a wonderful fragrance. It's fresh and cool. It can be grown in your garden, but it also can be forced indoors. Today we're going to show you how to pot them. The plants come to you with their roots and their storage structures that are known as pips. First you remove your pips from their packaging and then you have to take your soil and moisten it first. So we're going to place it in a plastic tub and add some water. Just to moisten it up a little bit, you can mix it with your hands if you have your gloves on, like I'm going to do here. So I add some water and mix it up. The next step is to take some soil and place it in the bottom of your pot. This pot is known as a long tom. We like it because it accommodates the long roots of the lily of the valley. If you have a shorter pot, it's okay to trim the roots. Take your pips in a group. You can see here we have about a dozen and we're going to place them in the pot. And it's okay to bring them close together. You want to loosen them just a little bit. And then the next step is going to be to add the rest of your soil. Take the rest of your soil and firm it around the tops of the lily of the valley. You can see here that you want the pips covered but just barely. If the tips of the pips are just showing, that's okay. After your lily of the valley is planted, place it in a bright location at room temperature. Make sure you keep your soil evenly moist. First you'll see leaves appear and after three to four weeks you'll have beautiful blooms. Once the flowers are passed, you can cut them off and keep the plant watered. In spring, after the fear of frost, you can plant your lily of the valley outdoors in a shady location. They're deer proof and they'll come up every year for you. After the plants have been forced, it takes about two years for them to rebloom in your garden. For more information on lily of the valley, go to whiteflowerfarm.com slash garden help.